Have you ever wondered what would happen to your body if you were exposed to a massive dose of radiation, say 100 sieverts? It sounds like the plot of a science fiction movie, doesn't it? But the reality is, radiation is a part of our everyday lives, from the sun's rays to the devices we use. But what happens when the exposure reaches a deadly level? The consequences can be, well, quite alarming. So buckle up folks, as we embark on this fascinating yet slightly terrifying journey into the world of radiation, let's delve deeper into the science behind radiation and its impact on the human body. Radiation is energy that travels in the form of waves or high-speed particles, it occurs naturally in our environment. But what happens when it's at an extreme level like 100 sieverts? Let's break it down. Radiation is all around us, from the sun's rays to the soil beneath our feet. It's primarily of two types, non-ionizing like radio waves and visible light, and ionizing, which includes X-rays and the radiation from radioactive materials. Ionizing radiation is the one we're concerned with here, as it has enough energy to remove tightly bound electrons from atoms, thus creating ions. This process can damage living cells and lead to health issues. In normal levels our bodies can repair the damage caused by ionizing radiation. But what about extreme levels? What happens when we're exposed to a whopping 100 sieverts? That's a question worth pondering. Ionizing radiation at such high levels has a profound effect on the human body, causing immediate damage to cells and tissues. Now that we understand what radiation is, let's explore what such a high dose does to the human body. An exposure to 100 sieverts of radiation is a death sentence, but what exactly happens to the human body? Let's delve into the details. 100 sieverts of radiation is a staggering amount. To put it in perspective, a typical chest x-ray exposes you to about 0.1 msv, or millisieverts. This means that 100 sieverts is equivalent to a million times that amount. Upon immediate exposure the first symptoms are nausea and vomiting. These symptoms can start within minutes of exposure and are usually followed by a period of general malaise, fatigue and loss of appetite. This is the body's initial reaction to the sudden and overwhelming damage to cells. The next set of symptoms are far more severe. Extreme exposure to radiation can cause burns and serious damage to the skin and underlying tissue, especially in areas where the body is most exposed to the radiation source. These burns are a result of the radiation destroying cells in the body and can lead to skin falling off in sheets. But the damage isn't just skin deep, the radiation also wreaks havoc on the body's internal systems. One of the most affected is the central nervous system. High levels of radiation can cause seizures and tremors, as well as loss of coordination. The damage to nerve cells can result in confusion, shock, and even coma. The destruction of bone marrow, which is vital for producing new blood cells, leads to a decrease in white blood cells, weakening the immune system and making the body highly susceptible to infections. The radiation can also cause severe damage to the gastrointestinal system, leading to diarrhea, dehydration and internal bleeding. In the long term, the damage to the body's cells from such a high dose of radiation leads to multiple organ failure and ultimately, death. Death usually occurs within a week or two of exposure, due to the widespread damage and the body's inability to repair itself. With such severe consequences it's clear that high levels of radiation exposure are incredibly dangerous. Let's quickly recap what we've learned about radiation and its effects on the human body. We started off by understanding radiation, a form of energy that travels through space or materials. We learned that it's everywhere around us, in the form of cosmic rays from the sun, radon in the earth, and even in our own bodies. At normal levels, radiation is harmless and plays a crucial role in various scientific and medical applications. Then, we delved into the heart of the matter. What happens when a human is exposed to an incredibly high dose of radiation, specifically 100 sieverts? We discovered that at this level radiation becomes a silent and lethal force. It can cause immediate effects such as nausea, vomiting, and a severe decrease in white blood cell count, leading to a compromised immune system. But the devastation doesn't stop there. The exposure to 100 sieverts of radiation can cause damage at a cellular level, leading to DNA mutations and eventually cancer. It can also result in acute radiation syndrome, a severe illness that can be fatal within days or weeks. The takeaway here is that while radiation is a natural and essential part of our world, it's also a force to be reckoned with when it reaches dangerously high levels. It's a stark reminder of the power, and potential danger, of the science that surrounds us. So the next time you think about radiation, remember the serious impact it can have on the human body. Stay safe, and remember to always respect the power of science.